For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com All right guys, let's do this problem that says a transducer. In case you don't know, a transducer is simply a signal generator characterized by a voltage of 1 volt RMS and a resistance of 1 mega ohm is available to drive a 10 ohm load. If connected directly, what voltage and power levels result at the load? Voltage and power levels result at the load if directly. So, directly, we have the transducer, which again is a signal generator, PS, and it has a resistance of one mega ohm and it is collected to a 10 ohm load ground and ground and they ask you what voltage and power levels result at the load so let's connect our imaginary voltmeter right here it's being positive it's being negative now this will be VL now VL is simply a voltage divider, it would equal to Vs times 10 ohms over 10 ohms plus 1 mega ohm. And Vs is 1 volt RMS already. So the voltage at the load comes out to be 0 0.00001 volts or um, in micro volts that will be 10 micro volts 10 micro volts RMS as you can see that's not a lot of voltage and the power is simply given by V square over R <coughs> which will be 10 uh, micro volts RMS square over R which is 10 and it comes out to be to 10 to the negative 11 watts so 10 micro ohms and 10 to the negative 11 watts as you can see that's not a lot of power available at the load so what they want you to do in the second part is if a unity gain buffer amplifier with 1 mega ohm input resistance and 10 ohm output resistance is entering post in between the load and the source what do the output voltage and power levels become sorry so for the new one we have something like this the transducer yes which still has a 1 mega ohm resistance and the buffer which has an ri of 1 mega ohm and this will be VI plus minus and on this side plus minus we have AVO VI but they're telling you it's a unit again so AVO is going to come out to be 1 just so you know RO they tell you is 10 ohms just like the load and the load RL is still 10 ohms and this is V output plus minus actually let's call it VL so you know that VI is equal to a voltage divider right here and you know that VS is 1 volt RMS so it's 1 volt RMS which is VS times 1 mega ohm over 1 mega ohm plus 1 mega ohm this mega ohm and this mega ohm so this comes out to be 0.5 volts RMS this is VI right here same as this VI right here so AVO times VI I told you it's a unity gain the problem tells you it's a unity gain um, amplifier so that's one so AVO VI is still equal to 0.5 RMS volts RMS so VL is a voltage divider of 0.5 volts RMS times 10 ohms over 
10 ohms plus 10 ohms which can set to be 0.25 volts RMS so as you can see you already have much more before you used to have only 10 microvolts RMS now you have 0.25 volts RMS so you have much more voltage than you have before already so now let's calculate the power the power PL is equal to V square over R V square is 0.25 square and R is still 10 ohms so that comes out to be 6.25 milliwatts so now they want you to find so 6.25 and 0.25 volts so as you can see it's the same everything seems to be the same now for the new arrangement they want you to find the voltage gain from source to load and the power gain both expressed in decibels so let me turn a new page the voltage gain AV is equal to 0.25 because that's the voltage that we had at the load divided by the the voltage at the source which is 0.1 actually it's just 1 so it comes out to be 0.25 that is the gain and that is volts over volts if you wanted to calculate this in decibels it comes out to be 20 the gain in decibels AV AV in dv is equal to 20 log of the absolute value of AV which comes out to be negative 12 decibels just like it says right here and now the power gain is equal to the power at the load which is 6.25 over the power at the other side which is V square over R which is 0.5 square over R which is 1 mega ohm and you're gonna get that the power gain is 25,000 pretty high so if you wanted to calculate this in decibels you know that the power gain in dv is equal to 10 not 20 it's 10 log of the absolute value of ap which is 44 decibels given right here so final answer and final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.